Welcome to Dungeons. You control, and you have to escape from Dr. Shaz's vile experiment dungeon of mutation. You are going to be the next experimental cyborg, but you f you refused. After a lot of torture and questioning, you are thrown into the holding facility, otherwise known as the Dungeons. It all started when, while you were on your home planet, Gain. You had everything you wanted, and were checking out something different every day. One day, while you are walking to your friend's house, you see a dark speck in the sky. Curious and confused, you decided to take a look at it for a little while. The stupid thing seems to be getting bigger and bigger. After about 30 minutes, you gaze at it in awe as it flies over your little town. A beam comes down and catches you. You struggle, in vain trying to, trying to make it release its hold on you. After you are on the ship, you see some wired aliens and a king alien sitting on his throne and he speaks. He looks too he looks too skinny to go to work for me. A glimpse of hope appears that they might let him go. Dr. Shaz? The king speaks, take him to the lab. The one who appears to be Dr. Shaz smell smiles like an orange and drags you off. Not without a fight, though, you struggle and manage to get free. You run to the other side and pick up some wired bladed scientific tool. You throw it at the king. Handcuffs appear around you wrists, and Dr. Shaz drags you off. You manage to slip off the handcuffs, but you keep it a secret. Dr. Shaz throws you into a cell and quickly enables the force fields. The handcuffs, so the story goes on. If that's any indication of what game we're playing here, that, well, that's, yeah, that is an indication of what game we're playing here. This is called Dungeons. It was made by Dopefish7590 and released in 2006. It is an adventure, uh, an item-based adventure game, and um, it has terrible music. <laughs> I will say that right now. It has terrible music. Um, sound effects are pretty much mostly built in. The graphics are absolutely atrocious. And the gameplay is pretty much horrendous. Um, I'm not gonna say it has absolutely nothing going for it, but the execution just makes you want to hit your head over the freaking desk until you become unconscious and possibly get a concussion. Um,. I don't even know how to properly describe this game. There's just for one thing, the, the music is extremely grating, um, and just con constantly repeats itself. Um, some of the puzzles make very little sense, and you die to pretty much a gust of wind. Um, just as an example, in order to open a door that seems to be unopenable, um, you need to light a Q-tip on fire, then pick a lock, pick the, the door's lock, with a flaming Q-tip. Apparently, the inside of the door is wood. The only reason why I know this is because it's in Lachesis's review of this game. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like... How are you supposed to come up with that? Like, so, mm. Um, pretty much most of the game is a lot of big empty boards. Uh, things like to shoot at you and uh, kill you pretty fast. And I mean, like, really seriously fast. Um... You'll pretty much die in two shots of anything. Um, and if that's not enough, this game is punctuated by a pretty much impossible boss um, with music from uh, One Must Fall 2097 playing in the background for some ungodly reason. Um, so my... Uh, my suggestion is 
just to completely forget that this game exists. And let's move on to something actually decent next time, shall we?